Climate change has been revealed as a class war that, has, that is being waged and that has been waged by the rich against the poor. Dead simple. The facts are dead simple. We know what caused the climate crisis, it's greenhouse gas emissions. We know where they were produced. 75 to 80 percent of them were produced in the rich world by 20 percent of the world's population. That's you, that's me in Canada, that's the whole EU. We created the emissions that are warming this planet to catastrophic levels. The problem is that out of some cruel geographic irony, the effects of our emissions are overwhelmingly being felt in those countries that did the absolute least to produce this crisis. And here's the catch. We know, we know the truth, we've read the science, and we refuse to change our behavior. So there is a very angry, a righteous anger that is emerging from the Global South. And it has a voice here in Copenhagen. We owe a debt. We in the, in the rich world owe a debt that we will never repay. We'll never be able to repay because unlike the way this is covered in the media, as if it's just poor countries asking for money, it's not about money. You can't repair the loss of life, of nature, of biodiversity. Now, the hunger people increasing because it is not because the food production decreased, because the food controlled by the Tanas National Corporation and speculation and food to use as the material for the agro pool and people don't have control for the food production. Many hunger people in the uh, as the workers, farmers in the plantation area, in agriculture area, they don't have money to buy the food. And have money because, like example, cook, uh, cooking, uh, cooking oil, yeah, from palm oil plantation, it is not to sell to the local people, but to sell to the abroad country. They cannot eat. Hunger people in the in the in the in the plant in the in the palm area. Pueblo unido, jamás será vencido.